Welcome back to part three of our video spotlight about the dam for the AEM 5.6 layout. For this spotlight, I wanted to focus on some of the things that I didn't find very usable in this new system. Uh, one area that I don't like is that you have no way of actually being able to tell if an asset has been properly activated or deactivated. In the original view, you actually had um, these indicator lights. Uh, green indicated that it was activated, red or gray meant that it wasn't. Um, the new system does actually have a way for you to tell, um, but the only way is for you to actually go in to view the properties. And as you can see here, uh, this asset was published, uh, looks like five minutes ago. Uh, one way that you activate the asset or assets is to go to the card view of assets and click the enter selection mode icon. When you do that, you can then click the assets that you actually want to be activated and come up here and click this publish icon. Looks like a globe here at the top. When you do, it's going to open up this uh, window that indicates that it's queued up for activation. You can just go ahead and close it. The something to note is these are actually still going to be selected. So in order to get out of that, you would just click this X icon here. And now you're out of the selection mode. If you wanted to do this in the list view, um, just quickly switch over there now. All you'd need to do is just select um, the, the check boxes next to each one of the, the assets that you wanted to activate. And then, of course, click the uh, publish icon there at the top. Um, won't bother to do that now, but I think you get the idea. Um, the One other thing that you might want to keep in mind is this modified column. Some of you might be thinking, oh, well, that not that just the way that it shows that it was is, has been activated or not? It, it, it doesn't. This just indicates the last time you made an edit to the properties of this asset. It doesn't have anything to do with the activation. I, I originally thought it did, but it doesn't. One of the nice things about the old layout also was the ability for you to be able to uh, sort uh, by name, you know, ascending, descending, or if you wanted to sort by publish time, again, ascending, descending. Um, the, this new system just does not have a way for you to do anything like that. Um, not a huge deal, but it was, it was nice to be able to do that. Um, the last thing I've noticed is actually a bug in an iPad environment when editing the properties of an asset. Um, I don't have any video of this, but if you were to go in and view the properties of an asset and we were to edit it, you would come in here and you would click into your tags. Um, in this environment, it, it brings up this nice list, but within the iPad, it didn't do that. It would just add the very first tag that you saw on the list. Um, one way to trick it out of that system is for you to actually just start typing in and then it would pull up this list here and you could make your selection. But what would happen is it would still put in that very first uh, tag. Nothing super critical, but something at least to be aware of. Uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at info at aempodcast.com.